What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Vile. Today I'm gonna to be setting my gains on my full bridge amplifier, so stay tuned. So I just got these amplifiers, the Stetsum 8K Vulcan 8000 one ohm. Um, gonna go ahead and show you kind of the steps of how I do it and the tools. So I use a DD1, a multimeter. I'll be sure to put the link in the description of where I buy these on Amazon and eBay. As well as I have just a little um, small scribe here and uh, Allen wrench. And just wanna say up front that this is just the way I do it. This is the most optimal way and I'm not the most experienced at this. So but go ahead and hit the like button to subscribe if you haven't. A lot of cardio content on my channel as well as subscribe. And I'll show you the steps. So first thing, you wanna definitely get rid of your speaker wire. I always get the speaker wire away from the amps when I'm doing it, and I'm going to actually be setting two amps today, so they're not going to be exactly gain match, but I'm going to show you kind of how I gain match them afterward and explain it. That's where the multimeter is very important. So, got these out. Um, they're a little bit harder to tune. Some people would say to do full bridge uh, Brazilian amplifiers versus Korean. I personally think they're all the same, but that's just me. Um, and then I have, since I have two amplifiers and I don't have an input output on the amp. I'm actually hooked up to a distribution block on some lithium. So I got the actual speaker wires out. And what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and make sure I have this uh, a little tighter so that way I can actually fit the probes in here. So the ultimate tool I use first is a DD1. You don't need a DD1 to do gain matching and uh, actually tuning your amp with the gain which I call it a gain, but on the on some of these amps, you'll actually see where it says level or bass level or whatever. So all the other frequencies, I always turn all the way off. So since this is a full range and I'm using bass, I actually have LPF all the way down to 90 Hertz. My HPF will be all the way off, which HPF is the subsonic and then bass boost is always off. And if you have flat on yours is off. So right now I have my gain or bass level all the way down. And your bass level doesn't mean you, that's a volume level. So you're not gonna be turning your bass level up depending on how loud you want it. It's gonna solely depend on your pre-op voltage of your head unit, as well as where do you clip on your head unit and what kind of clean signal are you looking for. So for example, my head unit, I'll show you in a second up there, it is an 80 PRS that goes up to 862 volume. I know I'm clean up to 61, 62, but do I wanna clip at that? No, I'll show you when I get up there. So that's all I have for these. Keep your RCAs in, make sure your runs are all in. So I got two one ohm hooked up to the amps and these are gonna be ran at one ohm since they're one ohm on a block, never run full bridge under one ohm or whatever it's rated at, some are two. So got that hooked up, gain all the way down. So most important, start with the gain, make sure the gain's off or all the way turned down. And sometimes you'll be surprised at how much you have to turn it up just to get it where you want it. So once again, this is Jacob Vile. I appreciate y'all always watching. Subscribe if you have it. Uh, a lot of cardio tools I teach. I try to with my knowledge. Uh, I don't have a dash if anybody wants to know what my build's like. So uh, 418s, a lot of build updates you'll see on the channel. So turn the vehicle on. You actually want to have the vehicle on and started where your voltage is going to be in the 14s. You don't want to tune with it in the 12s or 13s because that extra volt difference will be different. In some vehicles, you'll be in the 15s or 16s depending on your voltage, but it's the same concept. So now I'm going to use a USB. Uh, some people would use Bluetooth, USB, or CD. Since my CD broke from my big build I used to have, actually this is a big one too, um, I have to use USB, CD doesn't read. So I got this. The first thing I do is I'm going to be using a test tone, so whatever you did, I normally tune it at 40 hertz for the test tone, since that's a pretty neutral area. I'm gonna make sure my speakers are off, so my front and rears are off, and every head unit is different. But So once the head unit is off and my base is flat on zero, regardless of what head unit you have, so now I'm gonna go in here and make sure I have my DD1 See, I have the DD1 tuning on my USB, and I'm gonna do 40 hertz minus five dB. I never do zero dB because that's gonna be a risk where you're tuning your amplifier to the where it would be a little less loud, the most clean guaranteed, but it could risk putting zero dB de, uh, signal to the amp. And uh, I would rather give it at a minus five dB. There's more to, to that I'm not gonna explain on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that to volume 30. It's playing right now. Um, it's actually on and then I'm gonna go see if it picks it up back here And of course some amplifiers have the protecting clip Which it's nice to have as well. 
and I'm gonna use the DD1 first and then I'm gonna use the voltmeter to actually physically see how much voltage output it's putting out for that number. So let me do that real quick at minus five. Go ahead and hook these up real quick. So the positive and negative will go in here. So keep in mind, you don't have to have these tools. I use them, it's just easier for me. So it's on, but it's not picking up a 40 dB signal yet. That's because of the volume is not to where I want it. So I just got them hooked in there. Now let me go turn it up a little bit. So I, my volume goes to 62, but I like to play to around 54, 55. So what I'm gonna do is tune my amp to 56 minus five. So there you go, 56 volume. So I'm gonna be at 56 volume for this. So it's not picking it up yet. So let me go ahead and turn my base knob up until it picks it up. See how it's picking it up now? I am so sorry, everybody. I forgot to do one more step. So this is another important step is my base knob needs to be on. So base knob needs to be turned up. So my base knob was turned down. Since I have a base knob here, I turned that all the way up. Okay, now it should be picking it up. It hasn't picked it up yet because I don't have the volume up. Make sure it's turned all the way down. So got that set, turn down there. If I'm doing something wrong also, you can comment and let me know teach other people too and me. Now I'm gonna turn this up to 56 is where I like it to be, okay? So it doesn't pick it up yet, but it's about to. See that? Looks like it's getting distortion even at that. So it's definitely harder to tune it with these, but that's kind of the concept you do. Let me go turn it down. I'm gonna do this off camera, but I wanted to show the steps on that. So I did that. I'll do it off camera just so I could be a little more safe. I like to have somebody up here when I do it. But that's how I do that. I'll have the base knob all the way up and I'll get it to the volume where I want it to feel comfortable with. And after that, I got my frequency set at 40 Hertz and it'll pick up when it clips and the distortion. So that's good on that and then our last step would be to actually get my multimeter here and i would read the voltage out and actually go in here and put my dials in into here and i'd actually be able to read my voltage output of my my 40 hertz so i'd put my negative in and my positive here See right now it's almost turned all the way down, but it's at 0.7. But with that turned all the way up, you would see around a, um, for these 8,000 watt amps, you'd see around a more like 120, 130 amps or volts or more, it just depends. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope y'all learned something from this. And let me know in the comments if there's something I did wrong or y'all have questions on. I'm learning as I go, but that's kind of the steps of how I set the amps. Some people wanted me to show on video how I do it. That's why I did this. Um, that's the process I pretty much do. I use a DD1, link in the description for that, as well as the multimeter. My base knob I'd have all the way up when I do it. And I'd set my gains that way. And from there, it's pretty straightforward. So if you have any questions, let me know. That's the way I set the amplifier on a full bridge. Definitely notice that the, my battery's low, so I might need to upgrade the battery 
on this, but I noticed distortion was coming with the 40 hertz detect pretty close together, which shows that maybe the amplifier is sending a dirty signal for the amount of voltage output that I'm putting on it. I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys could help me with that for anybody still watching. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more build, build updates. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos. Every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow.